Welcome back to the Roblox Studio Brookhaven tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be making a cache GUI so you will see the cache not only up here but on a GUI somewhere on the screen. So the first thing I want to do is add a screen GUI, install the GUI, name it money, add a frame and then we can just do I'm gonna do 250 by 75 because you, if you have a, like a big substantial amount of money it, it's, it's gonna fill up the whole thing and then we're just gonna add in a text label and this text label we're just going to expand the width there we go okay and now Let's get rid of this and then we'll just move this somewhere we like. Um, we'll set the anchor point 3.5, 7.5. Then we'll do. Now, there is a few things we could do. We could either do it at the very top or you could do it at the very bottom as like a taskbar kind of thing there. Or you could do it down there. This is completely up to you. I'm, I might have it down here. I'm going to have it in the middle of this. So that is 0 0.1. And then I'm going to have this 0 0.9. Okay. And then we are going to add in a text label. That should be the exact same size as everything. And down here. You don't have to write much. I'm going to. Oh, well, actually, let's just do cartoon because that's the same as cell motel. There we go. And do text scales instead of this because, trust me, this um, I've tried it and te and text scales works much better. And then I'm just going to do. I'm going to have it as green and I'm going to write loading. So if it if it hasn't loaded right, I'm like it just yet. It will see. It will, you will see loading. I'm going to increase the border pixels. Make this actually black instead of what the other color was. There we go. Okay, so now you can see loading. You can completely get rid of this if you want, like that, and like that. You can do that if you want. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to be doing zero and zero actually no I can so that okay and then now we're going to add a local script into here and first thing we're going to do is make a variable for the player which is local player equals game dot players dot local player and then we're going to do a variable for the leader stats that are in the player so is it so that'll be player wait for child if this happens and it's not highlighted you just have to do the brackets and then the speech marks I think and then you can write leader stats in there make sure it's spelt right exactly like that because because that that is where I went wrong last time trying this make sure that's spelled right and then local money so available for the money which would be leader stats wait for child this is just so you know the child is or the sorry the player is loaded into the game and that's why this is loading at the moment because so if it's that if they're not loading into the game it's being a bit glitchy their money is going to be completely glitched where this will just be loading which should be good and then in here you just want to write money now you unless you have a different one okay, again go into leader stats and whatever this and this is I would do the same because it just works a bit better but yeah whatever that is make sure it's the exact same as that if you have it as cash or gold write it exactly the same as that mine is money so I'm gonna do that and then the variable for the text is local text is script dot parent because script parent script parent is the text and then we want to do text dot text equals and then what you want to write you could 
you could do money equals and then whatever you want to do okay but I'm, I'm actually going to do because I'm I'm actually English if you can tell I'm going to do an English sign but you can do that you can do that one's more popular but I'm going to do this and then dot dot money dot value but again do what you want there it doesn't even have to be that you could just do again money equals and now if you are going to do equals I would do a space there so that it's space money instead of that but I'm I'm gonna have no space there personally yeah and then I'm going to do money get property changed signal so when it's changed this will happen and then the value is what will happen what will change and then connect function drop a line and then text dot text equals again da 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 there we go then that's okay make sure they're the exact same you can even copy and paste it if you want yeah so that this should work now if we just want to test it out okay here we are we've loaded in my money here is 1500 and the same with here and just to check it works even more we want to check that the money works when you get money and when you spend money so we're going to go in and take the pizza and so and we then we are going to give it to this person and the money should go up there we go okay we have an error that's fine that's because I have spelt it wrong here get proper T train signal make sure that's spelt right and we'll just try it again there we go okay so it would it was it worked before with the money and it just didn't work with the changed so when the money changed so now if we try it out got the pizza and we give it to this person there we go we have the money back and if we were to buy a car for instance and if you want to know how to make this this thing I have a video on it so go to my series and then you want to buy the starter car there we go the money goes down spawn if you want there we go yeah see and the money goes down so I think that will be the end of this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials or what you want to see at all make sure to comment down what you want to see and I'll give it a go on scripting but anyway this this is the robot studio series make sure to subscribe if you want to know how to make a game I make it really simple and easy to follow along so I'll see you then see ya